Hello dear aquarist, future aquascaper, I'm Flavio. Today we will uh, do the planting of my third foot tank. I'm going to use some Fisidens Fontanus to cover the glue area of the tank so the glue won't uh, be seen. You can also add the glue to the moss, not on the wood, but on the moss, and then apply it. It works this way as well. Some old glue. We want mosses in our uh, aquarium anyway, so why not uh, covering the white spot with glue? We have a lot of gluing to do, so I will use some gloves. If I don't use gloves, the smartphone won't recognize my fingerprint, so it's better to use some gloves. It doesn't drip away because it's more like a gel. Very good for the hardscape and also comes in a big uh, quantity. I don't know if you can find in all the region, but uh, here in Romania we have plenty of it. In places like this, you can add moss with tweezers and apply some pressure with the back side of the tweezers, so you don't glue the tip of the tweezers and destroy it. You see the, the glue on the moss, it's ready to be applied on your finger. <laughs> ready to be applied on the finger. I love uh, working with Fist Dance Fontanus. It's a very delicate moss, very nice one. All the moss that isn't attached you must uh, take out at the end with a fish net or something because otherwise it will get stuck on different places and uh, float and be ugly. These woods I uh, use a lot of times before, so they already have some um, old glue parts, we're gonna cover those as well. See what happens to your finger if you don't wear gloves. I'm used to it, but um, I prefer not using gloves because I have a better feeling of what what happens there. This will be highly planted scape. I will start the planting, carpeting plants first. We'll start with the uh, Emiatus Cuba, Arce Cuba. As you see, I cut it in the half, so the root part won't be so uh, thick. I, I show in the preparation video this, uh, this trick I usually do. It's much easier to be planted this way. This kind of uh, substrate is not easy to be planted because of the grain size, but it's good for the plants. And once uh, the plants are rooted, they will uh, have a very healthy growth and very clean growth. The bottom of the plant portion can be planted as well, because there is viable tissue there, there are roots and will grow uh, leaves as well eventually. You shouldn't throw that away. I always sprinkle some uh, 
sand on my carpet to get it heavier and prevent floating when I uh, will fill the tank. Sometimes it's easier to plant with um, the fingers, not the tweezers. Especially where, when there is only a few soil. Or you can do this trick before you withdraw your uh, tweezer. You can hold the plant down with the with your finger. This is a good trick. Or you can do like so. Insert the plant with your right hand with the tweezers and hold it down with uh, scissors. With a pair of scissors. You should plant like in the chest uh, board. One centimeter gets plant, so planted, one centimeter, one centimeter not. This is um, not only craft lava, but also some quartz, some denier like crystal quartz. I often use this combination of uh, substrate when I don't want to use soil. Use plenty of water, so the moss won't dry out. The wood, uh, it's dry and will absorb a lot of water, so you have to often sprinkle water on the mosses. The smaller the bits of the carpet are, the more area you're gonna cover with lesser number of pots. I have to go all the way to the rear with this carpet, so um, I have to be economical, not to use very much, but I will mix it with uh, some uh, Eleocaris parvula and some Monte Carlo. Won't be only Harche Cupa. Usually I do a big um, an elevated end point, but now um, I want it to be lower to make a tunneling effect. I normally plant Monte Carlo in front and because Harche Cuba has a smaller leaf on the back, so the tank looks deeper. But uh, now the priority are the riparian parts of the tank, so I don't want that effect. I don't want an, a classic as aquascape effect. I will use some Eleocaris in the shadier area, near the hardscape elements, so Eleocaris will define the hardscape ele elements better. I don't mind at all when Eleocaris and the uh, Hachekupa blend together, mix together, because it gives a more natural look of the tank, so it doesn't bother me. Eleocaris doesn't need as much light as Hachekupa, so I can use it in uh, shadier places as well. Don't be afraid to cover it with uh, substrate because it will go up to the light and uh, won't be a problem. Some aquascaper prefer to fill the tank with water, but um, I don't like it. I prefer plenty when the tank is dry, especially when there is soil soil involved because the soil sticks to the tweezers and it's nasty. 
Well, my rock doesn't stick to the pleaser as much, but I still prefer the dry method. You have a much harder time to plant this kind of substrate but once rooted the plants will be very happy. Eleocaris is easier carpeting alternative so this is why I plant it in the shaded areas where Hasche Cuba wouldn't grow. I'm out of Hasche anyway. Lobelia cardinalis mini It has a much bigger leaf It's a stem plant So it will grow a little taller But not very tall Monte Carlo can grow on the rocks as well. Cryptocorin albida brown. It's a reddish plant. Not very red, but a colorful one. Some more lobelia as well. So the substrate won't roll. The root will fix the substrate and uh, it won't roll forward this lava is great it has tiny hole system for a lot of beneficial beneficial bacteria Sometimes I use uh, Monte Carlo just like a moss. I just stick it on the wood holes and it will grow. plants will grow and hide this so I don't mind it I will also use some Anubias 
to cover it to hide it Ludwig is super red the pot is well hidden whatever it remains visible I will hide with some plants I will use an anubias here it looks like a coffee bean so it's called anubias cafe folia and some anubias gracilis here on the darker side of the tank Aerogenous repens Another stem plant But one that will stay smaller I will add some trident to make shade in this area And under it will use some anubias Now I will add the peace lily Bulbitis heudeloti, a fern looking plant. <laughs> 